Cincinnati Sports Talk. So today what I want to talk about is the backup quarterback position, not just for the Giants, but for a lot of teams, because there are some recent quarterback news. I actually recorded a video earlier today. It's not going to be too analytical. I've been making kind of analytical videos, like researching and stuff, like this guy knew this coach, and really doing film study. But today's going to be more of a relaxed video, so if you know what to, so you know what to expect from this video. So uh, big news today is that Vikings re-signed their backup quarterback. No, just kidding. The big news is that the Chicago Bears signed Nick Foles. Now, a lot of people are like, this is the end of the Mitch Trubisky era. And it may well be, but it's definitely not a uh, de- definitive thing. I think that Nick Foles, uh, they're not going to be paying a lot of his money, uh, first of all. They're, they're only going to be paying like $5 million this year probably. We'll see what comes out. The Jaguars wanted to dump his contract because they realized it's a pretty bad deal. Obviously, the fit with Nick Foles, he's going to be able to challenge Mitch Trubisky. You know, with the, Matt Nagy pretty much revitalized his career in Kansas City. And I think that it will be healthy, a healthy competition. Nick Foles can teach him. He can teach Nick Foles. Nick Foles is really just going through the motions at this point, I think. He cashed his checks. He can just be like teaching Mitch Trubisky. And, and this is Mitch Trubisky's last year, so it's going to be very interesting about that. The next quarterback I want to talk about, uh, the next big news that broke today is Joe Flacco. He's expected to be released. He's going to be like a $20 million cap hit. If you're the Broncos, you know, you feel bad because you didn't get, you know, the most you could have gotten at Joe Flacco. But it's just like, okay, but we have our quarterback of the future. Like, isn't that what you wanted? You don't care about that $20 million cap hit. You just release him. Smart thing. Don't bring him in the locker room. He's going to be bringing bad energy. Like, I'm going to compete against Drew Locke. And it's just, ah, I don't think I'd be good at it. He doesn't want to mentor Drew Locke. He's going to be, he's not going to play this year. Unless somebody gets hurt, he's not going to. He's not going to be on any roster this year. He may, like If Jared Goff goes down, you may bring him in and be like, oh, yeah, Joe Flacco, or season's revitalized or something like that. But he's, he's going to fit that role. He's, he's old. He, he didn't play awful, but he's just not good enough. He's worse than Eli Manning, and Eli Manning knew when to hang up the cleats. And, yeah, so next, uh, next piece that I could see, Cam Newton, James Winston. You can group them in the same bubble. Uh, James Winston has no option to um, be a backup in Tampa Bay. Neither does Cam Newton. Miami is an interesting option, but I think they're going to the draft. The Chargers are an interesting option for both, but they've already announced we're not signing any veteran guy. Maybe they, maybe they may not think Cam Newton and James Winston are veterans, to be certain, but I think that's the language. Like We're not going to sign an old guy. We're going to do it through the draft. So they're showing their cards. Miami, it would be a little bit interesting again. Uh, James Winston, he's a Florida kid. Maybe, maybe even bring him into Jacksonville. But the most likely option for Jameis Winston is probably with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, tight, buttoned-up franchise, similar to Ben Roethlisberger, gunslinger, stand in the pocket, threw for the most yards last year. He's not going to want to back up a guy. I was thinking about the Washington Redskins. Like, you know, you develop uh, Dwayne Haskins. They both had similar problems. Um, you may Ron Rivera, there may be a little bit connection there. Then there was also Cam Newton, but Ron Rivera had the option for Greg Olson. He had the option to keep Josh Norman, and he cut him. So he doesn't really have those Panthers ties. I think he wants to separate himself from Panther Nation. He wants to continue with himself. James Winston is an option with the Redskins, but I think ultimately the best option for James Winston is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Spend a year behind Big Ben. Um, have that LASIK eye surgery. Develop a little bit. Maybe um, uh, get used to your new set of eyes and stuff like that. James Winston uh, could potentially be a starter after Ben Roethlisberger goes down or he starts playing really bad. Um, he's not, he, I can't see him as a backup. Honestly, I think he'd want to play baseball and pursue a baseball career rather than being a backup. You know, you're telling me the Mets or a team like that isn't going to bring James Winston in a team like the Tampa Bay Rays are going to be like, Oh yeah, James Winston, will increase bring training attendance and stuff like that. A little bit different with the coronavirus this year and things like that. But I think that's definitely an option for James Winston to pursue a baseball career. Uh, that, that would be very interesting. Uh, and yeah, there aren't too many, there aren't too many teams looking for a quarterback, like I said, Chargers, Miami, they don't have a quarterback, but they're looking to the draft at this point. And they, I don't think they'd be hurt or whatever if they had to stick with their quarterbacks in their current scenarios. So I feel like a lot of teams, you're, you're playing musical chairs, and the, some guys might get left out. Uh, Cam Newton, he's a little bit immature. He feels a little bit L.A. and stuff like that, like relaxed and stuff. He's going to join a joke of a franchise, whatever he does. The Bills, uh, the teams like the Bills are looking for a backup quarterback, so I wouldn't be surprised Maybe if uh, any of these quarterbacks fill in that backup role of Josh Allen, big arm, that type of thing, just for a career revitalization, a one-year deal, something like that. But the next quarterback I want to talk about is Andy Dalton. The Patriots are the obvious one. Uh, the Bill Belichick, yeah, we're going to win with Andy Dalton. Not a lot of playoff success. In fact, he actually played pretty poorly. He's 0-4 in the playoffs. He actually played pretty poorly in all the NFL games. This is the most obvious uh, pick in my opinion he, he's not going to be want to be a backup anywhere and especially a team's not going to want to trade 
for somebody to be a backup. If anything, he would just stay in Cincinnati. Feels like their relationship is fine. If they don't find a trade, he's going to stick in Cincinnati for a year, have his uh, value go up. And then he not play for a year, and all of a sudden he's healthy, and the team's like, oh, yeah, we need a guy like Andy Dalton. Uh, final uh, guy I want to talk about is Jacoby Brissett because he could be a giant. Uh, I think it's possible, but I think the, the best scenario for the Colts who just signed Phil Burbers is to do, just keep him on the roster. And midway through the season, if a team needs a quarterback to trade, you know, you'd only be saying 4 or $5 million in the cap. Phil Rivers may even suck next year. You want Jacoby Brissett as a, uh, a backup piece. You'd be spending $40 million against the cap. And I, mean, I am kind of surprised how the Colts spent a lot of money on Phil Rivers. And they're, that may be a sign like, oh, we don't want Jacoby Brissett. But I think you got to keep Jacoby Brissett for one year, see what you got. You know, behind him, have Phil Rivers challenge him a little bit. And maybe even sign him to a deal after Philip Rivers leaves. It's only a one-year deal. You never know what's going to happen. And, yeah, so I'd keep Jacoby Brissett. I've heard rumors about, you know, the Patriots. He may be a good backup to an, um, a, a, what do you call it, a Joe Burrow in Cincinnati. Uh, but uh, I, I really don't I, – I can't see that. Uh, I can't see the Patriot thing. I can maybe see the Bengals thing. But they have to trade for him and things like that. I'm like, yeah, they want to. I feel like they want to rebuild their thing and trading for a guy that has like no connection to any of the coaches on the team. That's kind of weird. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, Jacoby Brissett could be a giant. I wouldn't be surprised if the um, the Colts just release him and the Giants are like, oh, you know, the um, Kevin Saplinski or Ron Saplinski on the Giants. He taught up Jimmy Garoppolo, and he taught up Jacoby Brissett, and he had really kind words. So maybe bring him in as a backup role. Um, maybe facilitate Daniel Jones' growth a little bit. That would be pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that. But the Giants are in an interesting position now. It seems like the Chargers and Miami are in full Tua slash Herbert mode. They're trying to throw some smoke screens. Like Miami, oh, we're not too interested in Tua. The Chargers are like, but are they? Let's jump up. So it's going to help the Giants stock out a little bit. I'm glad that none of them got their quarterback of the future because, you know, it helps It helps the Giants trade back um, ability. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about every topic I discussed in this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.